joined us this morning in the name of the Lord. Say to each other, Christ is risen.
Let's pray again. Let's pray for the sound system. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. Now we're ready to pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you today, Lord God, because this world, this universe, our lives, everything around us is all about you. We pray that you would help us to come to that realization that we are in fact sinners and that we will never fit into a perfect heaven unless you do something to redeem us. So we thank you for Jesus, for he was the only plan that you had from before the foundation of the earth, that we might be saved and changed and able to be restored to life eternally. We ask that you would receive our worship today, help us to not be about the externals, but uh, that we would present our hearts to you, and that if those hearts are not clean and pure by the washing of the blood of your son Jesus, that you would help us to uh, deal with sin today, because really that's what the crucifixion and the resurrection were all about, uh, helping us to deal with our sin issue that we could not fix. Lord God, we want to worship you today with our whole heart. So we confess the sin in our life. We ask, Lord God, that you would speak to our hearts today anything that you know we need to hear and to know in any way that we need to respond. That we would respond fully to you. Lord, we pray for our nation, for our nation's leaders, that you would turn us all back to a course that you would have for us to live on. And that is the course of your perfect work. And we would thank you for that. Lord Jesus, thank you for the sacrifice you made on our behalf. Thank you that you freely offer salvation today. To